Today I'm going to show you how to add a bead using a floss threader. So first off, I've got just a couple more stitches that I need to complete before I get to the stitch that I'm adding my bead to. As you can see, I already have a row of beads started here. I am going to knit the stitch and then what we are going to do is we're going to take our floss threader, if I can pick it up here, <laughs> take our floss threader. Our next one in my series is going to be a solid crystallite bead. These are very tiny, but I promise that this works. We're going to slide it on to the pointy end of our floss threader. As you can see, it's not going anywhere because of that nice big loop there. We are going to slide it into our stitch. I like to do it while the stitch is still on the needle, makes it a little bit easier. Once it is through the stitch, you're going to put that pointy end back up through the loop on the back of your bead. And then we're just going, we're going to push it down onto our stitch. And then we're going to pull the floss threader out. Now, as you can see, it, our stitch is now a little bit big. We're just going to get it back to gauge. And it's on there. I'm going to knit around and then I will show you that again. All right, I am back to a couple stitches before my row of beads. And I am again going to, I'm going to pull two, knit one. And I am back to the row of beads here. We're again going to knit the stitch. We're going to pick up our floss threader, slide our bead onto the threader. Again, because of that nice big loop, it's not gonna go anywhere. I can sit here and shake it and it stays put. Um, again, we're gonna thread it through, oops, excuse me, thread it through doesn't help if I let go of the other end. Um, we're going to thread it through our stitch here. Bring the pointy tip of our threader back up through our bead. So it's folded on itself. And then push the bead onto our stitch and pull our threader out. Sorry, I did that sort of all in one mov movement, but there you go, there's another one. And then we're gonna continue with our project, just a couple more stitches here. And there you go, we've added two more beads to our row.